you have to you, you, every 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 story is a case by case like like telling things so you have to sit there on a case by case basis and figure out how you can do this amazingly with the budget mm. you have there's so many adaptations there's so many remakes you can't tell me there's not a handful of original scripts throughout the entire world so yeah the, yeah there, there are other factors in terms of story the pacing and all that stuff but yeah. overall yeah i think the p- the picture was a bit too much for him yeah i just can't buy him being an action star yeah Yes. Okay, cool. Let's go. So here yeah, we are here to discuss uh, uh latest movies, even old ones, television shows and all that stuff. Yeah. Cool. You know. At least I have a, I have full-time filmmakers and television producers here. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the Bit producer? Of an overstatement, but okay. Huh? Bit of an overstatement, but it's not yeah, that accurate. So at, 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 at least creators, you know, at least creators. We'll take that. Yeah. What is your review guys watching lately? Sure. I think Netflix has come back with a bit of a, a bit bang. Bit of a bang. You're telling me about the bear, yeah. Yeah, but I think that's more FX Disney, Disney Plus. Was that Disney? Mm. Oh, but I think it's FX. FX. Oh, okay. But okay. they just I'm sure they're getting some shows from there. Yeah. What show is that? The bear. The bear. The the bear stars um I think I've seen something. Yeah, I think it's Jake Allen White. Jake Allen, uh, I think it's Jake Allen White, yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that. Okay. Um, I was catching up on Billions the last two seasons. So good. So good. I need to <laughs> catch up on that. It's so good. It's just like it's good script writing. Still on season one, come on. Uh, <laughs> it's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> such a good show. <laughs> and yourself? I've, uh, I got the weird crowded room. Oh, the crowded room is good. <laughs> the crowded room, too yo, it's too, too dope. It's, it's, it's too good, you know? The the thing about it is like, um, you know stories that matter. Like, yeah, it is a must. And I like the fact that they even, like, at the end, they give, like, a disclaimer that if you need help or no, anything like that. Yeah, Because we barely have shows that are like, sort of, like, direct to what this really is about and with an intention to to help out. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I really liked how they really were able to show... Like, the show's about mental health, if anybody doesn't know. It's about this kid with mental health issues. Yeah. And just how they're able to explain that visually to, like, the audience. It's like, wow, it's mind-blowing, bro. Yeah, starting to- Tom Holland. Spider-Man. Sp- that, ah, the boy has a range. I didn't even the boy see has a range, bro. I didn't even see Spider-Man. I, like, like, the, uh, you know, he's in. I, I've, I've, I've seen his acting. I'm saying, okay, this guy is good. Yeah. But this show, this show, I was like, nah. It's unbelievable. And he's taken time off after. Yeah. After that show. Because he you, said, nah, it's just... There was too much. It was too much for him. Did he? He's, he's taking time off after. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think I heard something like that as well. Like it, it was. It is too it much. It is too much. It is too much. He's like, like playing three, four, five characters really mm. in one. Exactly. Yo, it's crazy. I mean, the last time you think of some a performance like that, you think back to Split. Split, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. I, I think that Split. transition of characters, I think, was a bit better. Mm-hmm. James McAvoy got you killed that role. Mm. Um, Split is, Split is that, who's the director? Uh, I forgot the director, but it starts M. Night Shyamalan. M. Night Shyamalan, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so it's that movie, yeah, 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 okay, cool. He's very, he's very psychological. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't like his last one though, uh, what was, Old? Yeah, I didn't, well, one on the beach. The one on the beach, yeah. Did you watch it, Kyle? Yeah, yeah I've watched it. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. Yeah, yeah, you, should, okay. you, should, you should check it out. I'm going to have a list from the show, obviously, that when I, I want to be forced to <laughs> no, watch, the, like, the, the three is, hours of movies. The thing <laughs> is, maybe, may, maybe we expected a lot. I did. The trailer uh, The trailer is better than the movie. The, the trailer is way better than the movie. Mm. Yeah. It was not that. Yeah, you should, you should check it out. What other good, like, The Crowded Room made me think, like, what other good, like, mental health movies? I guess we just brought up Split now. Like, which other ones are, like, good and then, like, to check out? 
Sure, men's mm. health. There hasn't. I can't remember. Wait, wait, wait. One. There's uh, there's uh, this movie. It stars Hugh Jackman. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Hugh Jackman. Ah, uh, it's about Tree of Life, though. Not the Tree of Life. Is it the Tree of Life? I, I think that that's the title of the movie, the Tree of Life. Is it, is it, is it other, the Brad Pitt's yeah. one? Is it the Brad Pitt's one? Is it not the Brad Pitt's one? No, 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 no. That, that's, a, that's a different one. Okay, that's no, a, I think I've only checked out the Brad Pitt's one. I haven't seen that one. Let me, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me let me check for you. Let me check for you. I, anyway. I have to. While we're speaking about Crowded Room as the featured show, um, what did you think about the actual show and what did you take from it, Cal? I loved it. It's gave me a different look at Tom Holland from what the tra- from what the description and the plot that I read of it I didn't think he could pull it off just for the fact that I've seen him in Spider-Man and that's sort of he, the only he, thing he typecasted <laughs> him as a superstar and no, he can't yeah. act oh not, not yeah sort of sort of <laughs> I judged yeah. too quickly <laughs> I still I still think that there are a couple more actors that could have, I think, pulled pull the role out a bit better. Mm. I mean, the shrink, the shrink chick, I think, also did a. Well, I forgot her name. Uh, What's Amanda, Amanda Seyfried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, 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 she showed a bit of more range in, in her acting there, I think. Because you know, she's she's from that background, though. She's that, not. She's not that. She's not. Am uh, I confusing her with the Disney girl? She's not the Disney girl. What's mm. the Disney girl? There's another Amanda. Amanda is probably not her. Oh, Amanda Bynes. It's, it's two different people. Yeah, it's two totally different people. Uh, white, yeah. people white people sometimes look the same to me. <laughs> yeah, Amanda Seyfried has been, has been at it. Like, he's, yeah. He's, yeah, she's been around. She's no, no, she, a that's of, a solid performance. Though, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a solid Oh, the movie is the, the Fountain. Oh, The Fountain. Yeah. The Fountain. <laughs> I haven't watched it. No. You haven't watched The Fountain? No, it's good. I haven't heard of it. Oh, you guys should check it. out The Fountain. What's it about? Um... It, it is a it's a guy who's, who's sort of like uh, struggling. Okay, let me just read this thing. It's a modern day scientist Tommy is struggling with m- mortality, desperately desperately searching for the medical be- breakthrough that will save life from his cancer stricken wife. Okay, he's trying to save his wife from from cancer. Sure, and it goes to that spiritual journey, psychedelic trance type stuff. Jesus, sounds, <laughs> like, sounds like my type of movie. <laughs> yeah. No, cool. When, what year was it? Uh, 2006. Okay. They don't make them like they used to. They, they don't, they no. don't. Do you, believe, do you believe that, that they don't make oh, movies? Oh, yeah, for sure. They, yeah. what, what do you think has changed? Storytelling. Storytelling is no longer the same. And, uh, yeah. Or the ability to, st- or, not the ability, but... I blame the studios. Why? What the studios do? There's so many adaptations. There's so many remakes. You can't tell me there's not a handful of original scripts throughout the entire world. I think it's. I think it's just risky for the for the rec- for for the studios to to make novel films because you know, like most of the biggest movies. I, like Italian job, like in our generation, I thought it was a brand new movie. It's an old ass movie yeah. we made, you know. Like it's easier to do something that has an audience, like a book, you know. No, but the <laughs> thing is, the remakes are being done with an agenda. Well, not an agenda, but are you saying they're going woke? I, Disney, I would Disney, say Disney did it, and it's failing. <laughs> <laughs> Disney no. did do it. <laughs> and another thing, I, I, I think it's, 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 it's a money thing. It's like, if you make a movie, who are you making it for? Mm. So immediately, it's like, the story could be there, a good story, but who are we making it for? And then we look at the de- demographics and yeah. the number of people it can pull, mm. and the actors we need to attach, all, all of that. Yeah, I think it's, it plays a huge factor in making these movies to be this bad. Yeah, I, I I just think also there's just generally like mediocre people like in high positions making stuff generally because it's like if you if you you guys work in the industry and you know when you try to go against what is traditionally done there will be a setback. We're not even speaking about it, and I think yeah. that's true for 
a lot of industries, not just like the film industry. And I believe just the fear of not of swaying away from tradition is really what makes it hard. Yeah. Everybody wants yeah. to make a a blockbuster film. Like not every film's gonna be a blockbuster. Sometimes you wanna make film for the people that, you know, like to go to church. And that's just an audience by itself, you know. And film for people that like the hood life. And that's just an audience by itself. So, you know. We're just not allowed to go away from action. <laughs> no, but, yeah, that's fine. Oh, so you look, so for example, Ghostbusters. Yeah. You go for the remake that they did a few years ago with Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, I remember it. How well that did. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't do well. <laughs> and then you look at the uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife mm. and you look at the difference between the two. And Ghostbusters Afterlife is... 10, 20 times better than that remake that they tried to do. Yeah. I didn't even watch the... The <laughs> remake. No, the first one. Oh, the, no, I, did, I didn't. I didn't either. Didn't, I saw the trailers like, no. Yeah, yeah. Like, no. Yeah. I, I watched the, 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 the last one. Because tell what remake has done well. I mean, what? it's In very... In the last it, five years, what remake has done well? <sighs> Top Gun. That's not a remake. It's not a remake. It's a, it's a <laughs> sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of a, of a remake now. Yeah, it's very, it's very rare because even the Star Wars reboots kind of like bombed when Disney bought them. Yeah, as well. So I can't think of anything. I maybe maybe I wrong. Only Mandalorian maybe really. Mandalorian and Andor really stood out, but the rest I don't think gained much traction, especially the movies. I think the series have gotten got more traction than anything else. I think as well. This is why I find myself not watching a lot of movies because it's like, yo, that's oh, so no. bad. Oh. <laughs> I think the last movie I went to see was Top Gun. At the cinema, yeah. and you go and you go often, right? Yeah, uh, but you haven't gone in a while. No. Oppenheimer. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, because that's you. So you needed to watch on. I watched Wonka. Wonka. Yeah. Yes, how was it? It was okay. I like Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. I like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what is Wonka about? Willy Wonka. Oh, oh Willy Chocolate. Wonka. Yeah. He's out. Mm. I didn't see it. I didn't see no hype. Nothing. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, saw there it. hasn't been much marketing. There hasn't been. It was, it was not really hyped. I just went through. I'm like, I need to watch mm-hmm. something. And then uh, I said, okay, this probably like. When did you watch it? Uh, December. During the festival. Okay. When did you get No, with my. Yeah. <laughs> With his, with his left chest and right chest. <laughs> left chest, right chest. <laughs> oh, okay, speaking, speaking of movies that are, they don't make any, anymore, eh? Uh, you guys watch Lift by Kevin Hart. I haven't oh, watched no. it since. I oh, saw the trailer no. and I saw, I saw a Twitter. People are, I saw somebody post people a poster. Crucifying. And, and, and shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Has anybody seen this? <laughs> I haven't seen it. I, People I, are crucifying. I, 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 I gave it a chance. I watched it from beginning till the end. Uh-huh. I went through all of that torture. It's torture. This, it's F. Gary Gray, dog. What? Gray. I was excited for that, first and foremost. And I'm like, okay, uh, Kevin Hart, I find him funny sometimes. You, you know what I'm saying? And when I when I immediately, as I went on, I'm like, okay, I see what he's trying to do. He's, uh, you want to be that action star now. You know he's nah. he's playing a serious nah. role. Spent too much time and around the like, rock. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's, you know. Yeah, no. Yeah, it did, so it, what it is it? He doesn't. Around. He doesn't look the part. It doesn't. I would say he doesn't look the part. So yeah, is, the, yeah, there there are other factors in terms of story, the pacing, and all the stuff. But yeah. overall, yeah, I think the the picture was a bit too much for him. Yeah, I just can't buy him being an action star. Yeah. <laughs> Why not, Kyle? Because he's short. No, but unless he pulls out some. Tom Cruise is short. Come some jet hey, Tom, <laughs> Tom Cruise is a guy. So height is out of the question. Ability, like, his ability to fight, to, is a, like you got to show me something. It, it is the same. It's the same thing with um, who's this actor, Martin Lawrence. Yeah, I I think I've come across some of his recent stuff. He's like he's tra- he's serious, you know, and. Somehow mm. you still you still see him as a as a comedy Comedian. guy, as yeah. a comedy guy. 
So I, I get that. I think I recently saw I was passing by a movie. I don't know what movie it was, but he has yeah. a serious he was a serious dad or something. Yeah. I'm like, how? Oh, oh, old man. <laughs> it's it's not like it's not like comedian can't break out of that. You know, yeah. they they do. Jim you know? Carrey. Have you ever Jim seen Carey. Jim Carrey acts? <laughs> Have you seen Steve Carell? I've seen Steve Carell. Yeah. Steve Carell can act as well. The the yeah. the the, the, the Foxcatcher. Yo, that was a good movie. Foxcatcher. Even on the, the wrestling one, the morning show was good as he well. Was very good it was there. very good. Mm. Like, cause I think that was him being like a, a more realistic asshole. Yeah, like, he's kind of like out of. Cause he's more like silly, but he's like silly, but then a super asshole on the side, like yeah. showing that he's putting on the silly. That was like mm. such an interesting like take on that show. Very good show. I didn't watch season two though. I don't know. Season, no, I just it's very good. I watched all all the way through. But can we speak about how Apple TV is coming to take over? <laughs> It is. I still get to find a bad show on Apple TV. There's The Foundation, there's Ted Lasso, yo, yo, there's yo, Dr. Yo. Brain, there's so many good shows. Yo, why Ted, Ted Lasso as well is so so dope. It's a good story. Yo, 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 yo. It's like, it's one of those shows where you watch it and you're and you like, you look forward to more, like, like those characters, right? It's, it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's I, so I, I fun to all watch. All like, the, until the show finished. Mm. Mm. I didn't buy into the hype at the start, and then when it finished, mm. I thought, okay, let me let me see what the hype's about. And I killed mm. all the seasons in like a week. Me too. <laughs> like, I think you, you when you watched it, you like, see, watch it, see, yo, 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 I put it off as well. Hey, I watched it. I pitched it in like two weeks. I was like, yo, because there's not there's not more every season today. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just sucks you in, bro. So subtly, and you just next thing you know, you're involved with the characters. You're like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how good it was. So it sucks you in very nice and slowly. So, um, what else? But it doesn't get the recognition it deserves, though. Apple TV and. As a whole, uh, Apple Apple TV as a whole doesn't get that recognition it deserves. Because I, I was because because uh, uh, I started well, going through that rabbit yeah. hole with uh, with with this with this show, yeah, uh, the crowded room. room. I'm like I've seen w- it's not getting that much hype and all the stuff, and I'm like okay, they're still a little bit behind. They got good shows, mm-hmm. but they're, they're still behind. You know? Yeah, they, it's very interesting. Sometimes I saw them. I think they dropped the crowded room on Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. The first episode, one of one yeah. of these episodes. Full episode. Full episode. So they do very interesting things. Like they will put the full episode on on things. So they're trying to yeah. catch people, but they, I think they're just trying to catch like the movie lovers and the series lovers. Because yeah, I don't. Mm. So they're not really too bothered about. They're not. Yeah, they're not bothered about marketing that crazy. It seems yeah. it's like. Because you see it because you you heard about it and then you clicked on it and then suddenly now you're gonna see Apple TV stuff. I, I think what's gonna happen is gonna it's gonna be one of, one of those uh, shows where where people grow into it. Somebody talks about it and they're yeah. like, oh, let me check it out and they watch it alone and they say it's a good show and mm-hmm. eventually start talking and the community mm-hmm. start building up and boom. Everybody knows about it. It's like Vikings, but like how, yeah. like Vikings, like <laughs> the underground hit. People are talking about <laughs> Vikings. It's like it's an old show. Yeah, <laughs> you get what I'm saying. I saw niggas <laughs> in the hood talking about Vikings. If it's, we see we're the Kings. <laughs> 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 so don't big. be way, you way ahead of your game. Eh? <laughs> Get your cousins like yeah, the Kings is the best one. <laughs> it's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good show. Did you guys check out Sushaga? I haven't. I saw the first episode, but I, I haven't continued. Yeah, I also watched the first episode. Why didn't you watch the reboot? Wait. What do you mean? The Shaga, Shaga film. Shaga. We've only had one Shaga yeah, in South yeah, Africa. Yeah. This is a reboot. This is DSTV going, we're rebooting this. <laughs> and we own it. So you watch the first I, I, episode. I, I, I probably, I'm probably going to gonna watch uh, the, the full thing now. We should watch it. So the next episode. Yeah? We, must, we must cover it and talk the, the, about uh, it. Uh, Ushag, Ushag, yes. Ushag. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We must finish yeah. it, Kyle. How many episodes is it? Like 10? I think so. 10, yeah. Sure. Yeah, 10. <sighs> that means I must go home. To watch DSTV, you must go. It's on Showmax. It's on Showmax. Yeah, it's on Showmax. Oh, thank yeah. God. Okay, cool. That's why it's gonna be easy for me now, eh? Uh, hey, I also hey. had to go home. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, cool. Um, so yeah. other uh, other local shows. Uh, soon comes night. Soon comes night. Soon, soon comes, comes night. Um, Is that the one with Lemo? 
No. One with Gwenzo, Gwenzo yeah. Nobo. It's the one that I sort of like know. Oh, you're like talking the main about character. It. Of a, uh, yeah. Lo- yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a local show. Have I think seen, it's. Uh, have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen. I've seen it. I haven't finished it yet because of time. I think I started. It, I started watching it yesterday. It's a series. Yeah. It's a series. I think yeah. it's a six parts or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's six six episodes. Mm. Yeah. So I think it's it's, it's, very, it's very interesting. How's it's that? very interesting. I'm seeing the. I'm seeing. I'm seeing things are really starting to, you know, shape up in terms of how we make series mm-hmm. here in, in the country. It's getting creative. It's getting creative. It's getting creative. It's just small, subtle things that you're like, oh, that, that's good writing. You're like, hmm, that's some Where is it reasonable uh, cinematography. Yeah? Where was it shot? I think Jobek. Yeah, it was shot in Jobek. It's Jobek based as well. The show. The story. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it it, it is job job based, mm. you know. And I like the mix of uh, all the languages. Okay. It, sometimes uh, the the guy who plays played by Gwenzo. Yeah. yeah. I'd say Gwenzo. I can see speaking Zulu. You know, mm. the other characters would speak their own language without having okay. some sort of like a language barrier. You know, when we have to all speak English mm-hmm. because we're trying to. Yeah. Know, yeah, I, th- I think I think it's uh, I think it, it it's opening up a lot of okay. uh, things and ideas and how we tell our stories because it's set early two thousands. It yeah. it's sort of like a period piece. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. I like I like a bit a good period. So it's a six part though. Mm, six part. Like it, yeah. I like the fact that we're moving away from like um. It's eighty episodes, hundred and fifty episodes. Oh, yeah. It's a it's a good format for like every, but not every show should be a weekly for the whole year. I mean, mm. just to be able to tell like a little movie in six episodes is really yeah. dope. It's like yeah, good writing and formats allows now we're not stuck within to fill a schedule of 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 a week with the same content. Every gotta be cheap, so it's like. Some of the shows, if you can pump in more money to like a six part, it looks so dope, you know, like the Bodyguard. So that was dope. A good show. Such a good, that show. Was a good show. Have you seen it? The the one that start off with the guy on the train. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh man, I watched the first episode and I got to, I don't know, something happened and I didn't able, I wasn't able to continue with the show, but 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 uh, I'm I'm not denying it. It's, good uh, stories. It looks so good. It looks so good. Do you think we're we're getting good at action, action telling, storytelling? It's been a while since like we got Jer- Jerusalem. Wait, the st- it's been, it's but the strange thing is, a lot of stunt actors come from this country. Yeah. So it's like we have the tools. It's just the ability to tell that story. If you know what I'm saying, like the tools are there to be for us to create a great action because we've got the stunt men, we've got the stunt coordinators yeah. that work on these internationals. So why why is it being so difficult to I think it's money. Okay, cool. Okay, you can say it money. I can argue with that. But this show that I just watched that, that I've just told I just told you about. Yeah. I I, mm. I think I'm seeing some very good action. Okay. You get what I'm saying, and I can ov- obviously, uh, as also mm. a creator as well, I can see like few seconds. It's like yeah, let, let's make the shot, but the sh- the the choreography, uh, the timing, it, it, yeah. it, it, it's, it's good. It's good. I think we're getting there. It could be it could be a budget because you just want you just want, can't go over and have all these explosions <laughs> taking longer. <laughs> but we don't, do we have something like that, uh, that studio that's in the States, uh, light, vision, visual something? What do they do? They specifically SFX. Oh, sound, oh, special effects? Mm. It started, there's a docu on Netflix, I think, about this company. It started with Star Wars, and George Lucas was trying to find people and a company to do all these special effects. Mm. Oh, isn't that the company that did um, the Avatar stuff? Not not that, it, not James, it's James Lucas' company. Yeah, it's James Lucas' company and um, Steven Spielberg. Mm. And they started this company with the specific focus on this action and special effects. You're talking about the company? Mm. There's Emblem. No, 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 no. It's no. not Emblem. Mm. It's Lightworks. 
Some, something, something to the light cinema, something to the. I think I, I think I know. I think I know. I think I think they also did. If I'm not mistaken, could be could be wrong. But I think that they they're the ones that helped with like the avatar the avatar technology and stuff. But like yeah, they deal with special effects. They yeah, I think they deal with like ninety percent of Hollywood stuff, and it's, I think if you have something like that here, those explosions and those sort of things, like you you see them taking down a city or building and building it into a miniature. Mm. And then exploding that instead of a real building, and you. Th- Genius! Why didn't we think of that? <laughs> exactly. Damn. Like, and it's something like that that just. I think that we need, yeah. Yeah, because it just becomes logistics and the trickery of mm. camera and the magic of editing. After that, because it's like, yeah. Then if you can have people there, it's like, how has it been done in the past? How can we do it now with with the computer? You know, a mix and match of 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 techniques, and then yeah. It and I think that's the problem is that it's too much reliant on the computer mm. and not about the practical effect on set. It, is, it has to be a merging of both. Yeah. Like. yeah. It has to be the merging of both. Cause you have to, you, you, every, every, every story is a case by case, like, like telling things. So you have to sit there on a case by case basis and figure out how you can do this amazingly with the budget mm. you have yeah. all the time. Like that's, 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 that's the job of a good producer, I think. Yeah. Take a budget and say, oh no, we can't do that. It's gonna look shit if we tr- even try. How mm. can we work around us not being able to do that and then doing that and still serving a good story? I guess. Yeah, because immediately as we started only looking at the at the computers to, to stuff, mm. we, we're gonna yeah we're gonna lose we're gonna we're gonna lose that. Look, you that need a flow. lot more budgets if you if you're gonna take out the creative part because you essentially remaking everything with computer hours and that mm. requires people and salaries and if you're gonna do something over six months six months salary is not a, is a lot of money bro <laughs> yeah and to pay for expertise for practical effects it's yeah it ends up being the same thing so yeah. it's either or really you gotta you gotta either sit there with a bunch of brilliant people brilliant minds and figure it out how you're gonna do it mm. set out a plan and a path and if you if you you're gonna fail at the beginning, especially if you don't have budget, but in the doing you there's a learning as well, and you'll do it better next time. And yeah, yeah. 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 I think we are at a point, like you're saying, we are getting to with this 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 um, Netflix show is that we are getting there. It's getting it's becoming better. Yeah, like there's not yeah. very little to complain about now. Yeah, and it's not only this show. I think there are other shows that are that are coming. Uh, there's there's a show that's being shot here in Durban, if I'm not mistaken. They say it's called the Spear. Could be spear or the spear or anything. Mm. Yeah, we look forward to shows like that and seeing local talent. It's very nice, and there is like one thing. I was I was on a movie set. So it was nice to see like people are growing, getting becoming HODs, getting super expertise, super cool, super like the industry is growing in South Africa and in KZN especially since I'm here. So it's like it's nice <laughs> to see. Yeah. Wait, since you yeah, it's been growing or No, you, no. Since you've been since, in Durban that No, you've the industry is growing and <laughs> in South Africa <laughs> and in KZN, especially in KZN since I'm here, yeah, that's good for okay. us. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh my gosh. No, I think just, it's, I, think, I, think, I think it's come, it comes from from Cape Town. And yeah. then now it's like, where is it? I mean, Cape Town, where the, where, 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 where the industry going? The fuck and up, then guys. you look at Jobek and like, oh, okay, cool. Let me go to Jobek. And then mm. it's just like, boom, KZN is coming. You're like, KZN's okay, cool. coming. I have to go home. KZN's coming. <laughs> we just need time to break. <laughs> just cow from Cape Town. <laughs> yeah, he is. You see? You see? Yeah. <laughs> but I think this thing with KZN is the access to everything. I yeah. think there's a big stumbling block there. I th- I just think um, as more people, because people are going to leave KZN and go for better opportunity. We I I say go if you think you can make money faster, go out to the city. But then in the same breath, that same person in ten years is going to be back because there's no place better than home for. Mm. I'm talking about KZN people at least. So at some point, you need to realize that for you to not have to fly out, you need to you need to contribute something yourself mm. are you in casting can you make a casting agency that's really good yeah and cost yeah. dope people yeah so then they say oh you want costing and then people throw you money and then can you have a grips guy that does that can you have a a an editor editing company that does dope editing 
you know yeah. he, then he money circulates the, yeah. the, vis- the, vi- the, the, the visual uh, effect company yeah you know? can they be one in KZN that starts to supply the rest of SA because then money starts flowing into the industry and most of the time you have to pick from you you have to pick from around mm-hmm. you and just because naturally more KZN expertise will then be yeah. built after that and Eastern Cape is coming after us it, we saw it in Hollywood like Atlanta popped out of nowhere. New York, yeah. New York came back after a while. So you know, it, you can build that industry. Mm-hmm. It just it takes the the right amounts of people and energy to be going towards that direction. And it happens it happens by natural. But it, I think it's also access. I mean, working in Durban is so difficult to get a grave graveyard to shoot in. Yeah, you have to jump through so many hoops, cut down so much red tape just to shoot a show in a graveyard mm. well not necessarily show a scene or two scenes there mm. and that's the access I'm talking about if local authorities can make it easier for and one to get those spaces like I mean there's a harbour there's a CBD like within a stone throw from yeah. each other that a story can revolve yeah. around I can I mean, see there's Virginia airport yeah. that's also right here like yeah that sort of access needs to be a bit easier to come to come by. It is that when you when you meet somebody that's actually in charge and you speak you speak to mm. them and it's like oh that's that's possible and then it's like oh no I need to speak to so and so and so and so there's a signature that needs to be so for, all uh, so I think like the film authorities and it. local authorities need to come together and find hundred percent because you'll find a you'll collaboration you'll find a cop in in in, in Cape Town and say hey where's your permit yeah. Whereas a copy, I wouldn't do that because they've been told the rules, the kind of like of how the stuff works, or at least how to enforce it. Mm. So once we once we know how to enforce it, then there'll be there'll be better highways. But then again, it requires some sort of industry to so people. Hey guys, we make X amount here a year, and we could make more, but you guys are stopping us from this. Then they mm. write a bylaw that says, okay, you bypass all these rules if you sign this form. Yeah. Sign but then mm. we we're there's not enough independent people because our our employees, our employers can do that. They can speak to the right people, but they it shouldn't. It, they shouldn't have to do that all the time. Yeah, there should be a way for the system to just work without without manual interruption. And this is this is why once there's more independent players, they're gonna be like, ah, ah why do I have to jump mm. through hoops all the time? I'm bringing money here. I'm putting hotels. Mm. I'm putting people in hotels here. People are going through the yeah. airports. So it's like once you can come like that as an industry, as a as a bracket, which I don't, we don't have. It's not enough yeah. independent players with real sums of money doing it. Once we can get there, then you you'll be able to go into the cruise and be cruise. Can we please? Go march to to thingy <laughs> and just tell them our things, but it yeah. takes it takes takes time. That's why hmm. unions ended up popping up in in the states and other in other areas around the world. Do you think um, uh, going forward you should have people who are sort of like are in the industry, who are like industry key players, and have a chat just like this one? Talk about movies and and have yeah, them Cal on. meets all of them. Huh? Cal yeah? meets all of them. How? How? <laughs> Cal, Cal, Cal's okay, an, Cal an is industry guy. fixer. Cal's our guy. That will speak to everybody. Yeah. Cal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish I w- just to bridge that gap between the mm. two different worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Because the two like there needs worlds. to be there needs to be something. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll end up having to find, put um, somebody from the film commission here and they can fight for us. <laughs> put him on this couch. <laughs> Not those uh, type questions though, eh? No, it must just be. Just industry, eh? Just industry questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Speaking of uh, psychological uh, drama, yeah. uh, another one is your movie. Might Delete Late. Oh, yes. <laughs> we dropped the movie. Check it out. It's called Might Delete Late. It's directed by Sam Kalotini. Um It's a psychological Zulu thriller. Um, I think it's dope. I think we worked What is it about? Director. It's about uh, cyberbullying. Okay. Yeah. Might Delete Late. Might Delete Late. Okay. Yeah. So, it's about a chick who drops a nude on Instagram and her life gets ruined. Okay. 
It's very interesting. Let's check it out. It's 20 minutes long. Is the director of Wait, photography. Wait, didn't I see that short? I think I, I think we made you watch it once. Yeah. Yeah. You watched it, yeah. Watched yeah, you yeah, watched yeah, yeah. it. You watched it. Wasn't oh, it okay. a different name though? No, it was Mike Delete Later. Oh, Mike Delete Later. Yeah. I thought yeah. you said uh, Mike did it later, was it? Oh, Mike. <laughs> Forgive us, oh, forgive us. Yes, 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 yes. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's English. <laughs> it is English. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I've nah, yeah. seen that one. Yeah. Anything else you guys wanna talk about? No, I think I think we we did a good first episode. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Cool. No, Looks like cool. you have something to say, yeah? Nah. Okay. Cool. That's it, guys. Thank you. Thank See you, you next time. Thanks, Hopefully, you've watched this episode till this end. See you